Hi everybody. This is about what the leaders should think about before doing anything. The lessons for leaders. Listen before you speak when answering a question. Make sure you understand the question and that there is no hidden agenda. On the day the prince was about to become king, everyone who was anyone was expected to visit him. The king is to be was especially looking forward to the visit of his mentor from his childhood. His mentor was now traveling the world for almost 30 years, gaining new knowledge and insights, making him a very wise man. And the king to be was looking forward to all the lessons from around the world. When the mentor received the news about the prince becoming the king, he promised to come and visit him on his special day. The day finally came when the prince became the king. The ceremony was over. Also, everyone of importance has already visited the new king except the king's mentor from his childhood. Some noticed that something was bothering the king and started asking around if anyone knew what it was. Some even asked the king, but the king assured them it was nothing. The festivities came in to the end and the new king retreated to his chambers to contemplate his next step. It was already late in the night and his mentor hadn't arrived yet. So he slipped into his bed and immediately drifted into a deep sleep. Then suddenly the king was awoken by his subject that his old mentor is waiting for him in the throne room. Once in the throne room, the king was very happy to see the old mentor. Without hesitation, the old mentor congratulated the king and mentioned that he was a perfect gift for him. I'm sorry, my king, for being so late. And at the same time, I'm sorry to inform you, I have to leave first thing in the morning. But before I go, I would like to give you my greatest possession. I've acquired on my journey, but before I present it to you, I would like to hear your thoughts about your situation. The two of them spent hours talking about what has happened in the past and what they thought was about to happen and the wise mentor shared is a kind of some of lessons he learned from other youths. The time came when the mentor had to go but before departing the old mentor assured the king that the kingdom would be fine under his rule. I'm I was unsure as to which gifts I should give you, leave you with, with you first. The mentor said, I had it in mind, but my decision was confirmed only after the meeting. He took out a package from his bag and handed it over to the king. The prince accepted the gift with gratitude. After unwrapping, he had a box in hand. He opened the lid only to see three small dolls inside it. The dolls were seemingly ancient and fit for a toddler. Their faces were cracked and their hair stringy. Don't worry, they are not for children or women, the old mentor said, reading the confusion on the king's face. Their value goes beyond the aesthetic. They are for you alone. I want you to place them so that you will always see them. If you examine them carefully, you will see a hole in the ears of each doll. The mentor said, handing them a glance of string, thread the hole. The perplexed king picked up the first doll and did as he was told. The thread entered through the hole of one ear and emerged through the hole of another. This is the first type of person. Whatever you tell him, it comes out of the other ear. If he does not retain anything, the mentor explained. Now go for the second one. Curiously, the king inserted the string 
through the hole of the second doll and it came out of the mouth. And this is the second type of person, said the mentor. He explained, whatever you tell him, he tells everybody else. The king then picked up the third doll. And this is the third type, said the king. Whatever you tell him is locked within. It never comes out. The king doubtedly looked at his old mentor and wondered what lessons should these dolls teach him. What was all of this for anyway? The attributes of the three dolls are in fact not separate, but incorporated within a single person itself. The mentor explained, a man must know when to listen, when to remain silent and when to speak. Develop this skill and you will be a wise ruler. Practice it and you will be able to read and identify your enemies and your friends. If you master this skill, the ruling of your kingdom will be everything you wish to it. The king only now saw how special were the dolls and how important lessons they provide. So what we learn from here for leaders is listen before you speak. When answering a question, make sure you understand the question and that there is no hidden agenda. Know when and what to say, when not to say it, and when to distance yourself from the people who have a negative influence on you. Stay blessed.